Today I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the box method of multiple digit multiplication. If you look up in the corner you'll see that we have the number 27 times 31. Because you have two digits by two digits you will draw a two by two box. The first number 27 will be written in expanded notation. So I'm going to go ahead and write 20 and 7. The next number is 31. So I'm going to go ahead and write expanded notation 30 plus 1. Now for you remember when we're multiplying multiples of 10 all we need to do is count up the zeros in each of the number and put them together and then just multiply the leftover numbers. So first number we have is 20 times 30. I see two zeros so I go ahead and put those in the box and then the two numbers I have left to multiply are 2 times 3 which is 6 so I know 20 times 30 is 600. Now we've got a pretty easy one 20 times 1 we know is 20 because 1 times any number is that number. Moving over to the next box we have 30 times 7. I see I only have one zero or one multiple of 10 so I only put one zero. Then I have 7 times 3 which is 21. And the last box we have just a simple multiplication problem which is 7 times 1. Remember 1 times any number is that number. Now we're not done yet. We need to go ahead and add all the numbers in the box together to find the product or answer to our multiplication problem. I always list the numbers from greatest to least. So the first number we have is 600. next number is 210. Remember to line up the numbers by their place value. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds. The next is 20 so the two will go into the tens column and the last number we have is 7. Go ahead and add those all together. Remember we start from the right and work to the left. So we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 7. We ha Next moving to the tens place value so we have 0 plus 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. We don't need to carry anything over to the hundreds column so we have 6 plus 2. So we know that our product or our answer to this multiplication problem is 837. Now the way parents including myself learned that I will call old school now. You'll probably remember this. So 7 times 1 we start with the 1's is 7. Next we take the 1 and multiply it by the number in the 10's which is 2. So basically this is like saying 20 times 1 which or 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, we're done with our 1's. Next we're going to move over to our 10's. And we move down to our second row. We need to remember to fill in the 1's column though with a placeholder or a 0. So now we look at 3 times 7 or actually 30 times 70. So I know 3 times 7 is 21. I put the 1 down and I carry the 2 over. And last but not least we have 3 times 2 or 30 times 20. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 more is 8 or actually 800. And we add those numbers together. So I've got 7 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 1 is 3 and then bring down the 8. And notice both products match up so we've done this correctly. It's your decision to use whether you like the old school or the box method. It's all up to you.